It's a website where escorts can post ads for sex, and the city of Portland wants it shut down. Yeah, the city council is now going to decide this week whether to join a federal lawsuit against Backpage.com. It's taking on renewed importance after a young woman was killed at a Portland hotel after meeting a man on that website, Jennifer Hoff going beyond the headlines to learn more. Jennifer? Jeff, nationally, 100,000 children are in the sex trade every year. The mayor says he wants to help stop sex trafficking and is joining or wants to join attorneys from San Francisco who filed this lawsuit on behalf of three teenage victims, while the website argues why it's not liable for the salacious posts. I found out Backpage.com is the second largest online classified ad service in the country and includes rentals, real estate, and employment. But in this motion to dismiss, lawyers for the site argue it polices user posts with a multi-tiered system, including a manual review and blocks more than a million posts per month. It can be a good place for a lot of things, but the bad is beginning to outweigh the good. Anti-sex trafficking advocate Michelle Bart tells me the site is also designed to broker illegal sex deals, and she applauds Portland's mayor for efforting a case against the website. And the voiceless are those children, yes, and some women, uh, on those sites that are being forced to be there. It's unclear whether these women are under duress, but this one's ad offers great rates. Another one promises a fun time full of naughtiness. Police said sex trafficking victim Ashley Benson met Tay Bum Yoon through her escort service on Backpage.com. Yoon is accused of strangling her in December at the same Portland hotel. Bart said her nonprofit held its annual conference against sex trafficking. You can say that the parents should do this and the teachers should do that and the police should do that. No, we should all work collaboratively in order to slow this stuff down and the city's lawsuit um, with the city of San Francisco should be every city and every politician across the country. The plaintiffs in the case say they were sold for sex on the East Coast through the site and in court documents describe being raped up to 15 times a day. And those victims, they are seeking compensation. The website's lawyer tells me a 1996 federal law protects it from such lawsuits because it can't be treated as a publisher of information provided by a third party, like the person doing the posting. So we'll let you know what the city decides, Jeff, at this Wednesday's city council meeting. Okay. Well